what I have here, this is uh, the, the panel that we would use, uh, for an example, in a, in a distributed mode loudspeaker, or a DML, as we call it for short. So you can see it's a rectangular panel. It's about 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters, and it's, it's about three and a half to four millimeters thick. Um, the construction, you can see it's a sandwich construction. This kind of material structure is actually very much um, similar to what's found in the aviation industry and also uh, Formula One, for example, where you need to have uh, stiff structures, but also with low mass. So we have, a, we have a, a two skins, and in those skins sandwich a core, and the core is typically a honeycomb structure. The honeycomb structure is very good because it's very lightweight, because it's mostly air, and it allows you to separate the skins, um, and that's what gives you the stiffness of the panel. Um, now, when, when you're designing a DML, the, the, material, the materials involved are, uh, are important. Um, you want to make sure you've got the, the, the right stiffness and mass. And also, certain materials have a better timbre um, than other materials. They, they, they sound more natural when, when you vibrate them. Um, so, just to explain a little bit about what, what dist distributed mode means. Um, so, when you vibrate a panel, you create a series of, of modes in that panel. And the idea is, is that you want to distribute those modes as evenly as possible across the intended bandwidth. So if I just turn to the whiteboard here. You want me to hold that? Ah, thank you, Marcelo. Um, I'm going to draw a typical, um, what we would call a frequency response uh, curve. So we have sound pressure level, SPL, on the vertical axis, and frequency on the horizontal axis. Now, frequency will typically range from the, the lowest frequency that can be perceived of, by a human, around about 20 hertz, up to typically the, the highest frequency that we think is perceived, about 20,000 hertz. And that's, that's typically your range here. And this is your sound pressure level. This is a decibel scale. It's a more convenient scale for um, describing uh, sound levels, or sound pressures. And, uh, the idea for an ideal speaker is that this should be, you should get a fairly smooth response across, across this, this band. Now, <clears throat> with, a, with a distributed mode loudspeaker, each mode gives you a, a region of output, like so. And the idea is, is that you spread those modes across the band, and also, when we, when we look at the panel here, you'll notice it's not, a, it's not square, it's rectangular. And again, we choose the aspect ratio very carefully so that we have the modes, let's say these are the modes in one direction, and then we position the, the other modes in the, across the other direction to fill in in between here so that we end up with a smooth response. And that is the, the basic idea behind uh, the term distributed mode loudspeaker. You're distributing the modes um, to give you a nice sounding loudspeaker. <coughs> 